Hello, is he done? What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's me, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. <laughs> so today, guys, I'm going to talk about my drug addiction. Um, I used to be addicted to drugs. I'm not currently addicted to drugs. Uh, I'm three years clean. Um, as of when? February. Yes, as of February this year, I was three years clean. So I'm heading on to four years next year. So, yeah, I just basically want to give you guys the lowdown of like what happened. In my drug addiction, and which drugs was I addicted to? And like, and like, how much drug did you do in the day, Jeremiah? How much drug you do in the day? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Drugs nearly destroyed my life. But thank God, man, God saved me from myself. That's what's up. It all started in grade nine. Um, I remember. That's run about the time, grade 8 is run about the time, grade 8, grade 9. Uh, this was like 2010, 2011. This, this is when Wiz, uh, Wiz Khalifa is blowing up, right? Now, I'm a big fan, but I'm wondering to myself, like, Jeepers, why is this guy, why is he, like, speaking about weed so much? Clearly, it must be awesome, right? So I decided to try it out for myself. I remember there was this uh, one Saturday. Um, I used to be in the choir, by the way. Um, so we had choir practice this one Saturday. I'm not rolling. No, no, no. This is not. This is not a joint. This is tobacco. Okay. Tobacco. But I don't know. But point is, this is tobacco. This is one Saturday. Um, a friend of mine had a joint before choir practice. He's like, hey, you want to smoke? I'm like, oh yeah, cool. <laughs> so we smoke. And then I get high, obviously. Um, two two pulls was all it took to like, wow. I was skyrocketing after that, hey. Paranoia to the max. Um, but the experience, I enjoyed the experience. It was something out of this world. Like I've never in my life, like, had that right it was it was really it was really the best time of my life um of my drug life that is that's where it all started but i mean even after that um i didn't like i didn't become addicted straight away like weed was only something i smoked um when basically like yeah, when someone else had it, basically. So I never got weed for myself. Um, this was grade 9 though. Grade 10, it became uh, also when someone else had it. I never smoked it. Like, I never bought it myself, basically. Grade 11, however, this is when, you know, things started changing. Grade 11, I remember the reason why I started smoking weed every day was because I changed the group of people that I chilled with. Um, the friends that I was chilling with every day at high school or whatever they became like rcls and prefects you know so now they were training like in grade 11 um so now i don't have anyone to chill with so i'm just now i'm chilling with the grade 10s grade 10s are like heavy stoners right and i mean and like they were cool like they, were, they were really cool people you know really fun to hang out with so i mean you are the people you surround yourself with so obviously because they were heavy stoners i became a heavy stoner um so grade 11 that's where we became like an everyday thing um smoking weed every day buying my own bankies rolling my own joints smoking with my friends grade 12 i started smoking weed alone um yeah all i wanted to do was smoke weed in grade 12. I mean, school was still okay. I did okay in school. I got a bachelor's degree, a uh, bachelor's pass, sorry, a uh, bachelor's degree. I got a bachelor's pass um, in matric. So, I mean, I did okay, even though I was high like 80% of the time. Like, if you went to Wordsworth, 
with me. You must, like, if you didn't know that I was pretty much high the whole time, damn, I'm good. But if you did know, then yeah, it is what it is. So, yeah, this is grade 12 now, you know, getting high every day, smoking at school, you know, smoking before I leave home, smoking when I get home, smoking before I go to sleep, smoke, smoke, smokey, smokey, smoke. Hey guys, I was smoking. Hey, I was a chini. Even now, my chini is just, it, you know, it's, it's tobacco. Back then, it was tobacco and it was marijuana. Um, so the other drugs that I was addicted to, um, as well. Sorry, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, I don't know how good it is. I'm not a professional roller, but it's not bad. So yeah, um, grade 12, I also got introduced to Cap. Um, I'm not gonna say who introduced me to it, but yeah, got introduced to Cat. But Cat also didn't in, like automatically become like a, um, an addiction. It became an addiction in the next year, 2015. Um, I'm 19 years old now. First year at AFTA. Um, AFTA is just like a, it's a, I feel like if, you, if you're in AFTA and you're not doing drugs, you're special. <laughs> no, like you, the, you really, you really are one of a kind. Um, because AFTA is just, it's, it's a really, it's, it's that kind of place. And I mean, no offense to AFTA. AFTA is a really great school, but it's the people, it's the culture that comes along with being in the arts or studying in an art school. you bound to just find these kinds of substances in that kind of world. Um, so yeah, that's when cat became like a more regular thing because now the person who introduced me to this cat, um, I was in more contact with them more regularly. So obviously I was using whenever they were using. Then halfway throughout uh, 2015, cat became like an everyday thing for me. Now I'm getting my own bankies of cat, my own bankies of weed, getting high, you know, um, doing all those things. Um, yo guys, it was bad. I stopped bathing. I stopped brushing my teeth. I stopped caring about the way I look. I was just wearing, like I was just, the only thing I cared about guys was getting high. It was bad. Like I was skinny. Like if you were after with me in first year, I, I think like if you can just look at me now and then like think back to when I was in first year after, you'll remember. Jeremiah was skinny. Jeremiah probably had AIDS, is what everybody else was thinking. Um, but no, I, I don't have AIDS. I actually recently got tested. If you haven't got tested, please get tested. Cause you never know. Anyways, um, yeah, it, it was bad, guys. I mean, I stopped bathing. Like, if you stop bathing, then that's a sign your life, your life is not going well. <laughs> your life is really not going well. I, I feel like personal hygiene is, a, is, good personal hygiene is a sign that a person is still functioning up here. Um, so yeah. Uh, my school, you know, my, my, my academics started deteriorating as well, halfway throughout 2015. Um, just not handing in assignments, not doing my best. Um, the only thing I did my best in was getting high and making sure that I got high. Um, yeah, it, it was bad, you know, it was, it was really bad. Um, yeah, and then 2016. So I, I, I just feel a need to mention that um, this is a story for another day. But I did become psychotic. I had my first psychotic break um, in 2015, halfway throughout 2015. We'll speak about that another day. Um, if you guys would like to hear about it, then please, you know, let me know, like the video or whatever, so that I can know that that's something you guys want to hear. But, um, psychotic break, yeah, and then 2016, um, I dropped out of after. Um, I dropped out, why? I don't 
kind of I think I think I'm just gonna go with I dropped out because I didn't want to do school anymore and all I wanted to do was get high but then I used things like oh no I want to do film now oh no I want to do something else now I used that as an excuse as like a legitimate excuse for dropping out and not it just being like a, a drug thing um I even used to play like bass guitar at my church until I started going to Africa and like just drugs just became too much. I started consuming my life. I stopped playing the bass guitar. I haven't picked it up since. Um, yeah, uh, what else? Yeah, so I mean, 2016, um, still doing drugs, still getting high. Psychosis is getting worse. Psychosis is just getting really bad. And, um, then I, you know, I decide to go to a doctor because I feel like, yo, my head is not right. And then, yeah, you know, I stop for a while, you know, because I get admitted into like a mental hospital. And then I go to an inpatient rehab, Elam Clinic, for about three weeks. Um, and then I relapsed, literally, like, I think two days or a week after coming from um, rehab, I relapsed back to smoking weed again and back to doing drugs again. Um, yeah, then it just carried on going downhill. I was still, I was getting even more skinny now. Like what happened was, you know, obviously as it continued to go downhill, I, I couldn't take it anymore. The psychosis, the paranoia, all these things. And I, I just, I knew it had something to do with drugs. So I consulted my therapist at the time again about it. Then I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to stop. Because clearly drugs are not helping me anymore. They're doing the opposite. They're destroying me. They're destroying my mind. The quality and the health of my mind. Um, then I stopped. I stopped in around February. Uh, I think first week of February. I'm not sure can't really remember but february was like the month that's when i stopped um for good this was 2017 and then i went to an outpatient rehab called mighty wings um thank god for mighty wings mighty <laughs> if it wasn't for mighty wings i'm not saying I, 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 I wouldn't have been able to do it um but like I am saying though that Mighty Wings was a huge part of my success. You know, just cultivating the discipline and the accountability to other people to say that, yeah, I'm actually clean. I haven't touched drugs, you know, testing twice a week, going to um, group twice a week, you know, learning skills of how to cope, you know, without drugs and stuff like that. That was all Mighty Wings. And I'm really grateful um, to them for helping me to do that um if you are struggling with you know addiction mighty wings is some is a facility organization that i'd suggest to you and yeah i sit here in front of you now and i can say three years clean look at that i can't believe it i can't believe it it's it's uh it's surreal it's surreal that i i I still know people and I still knew people that were still like, you know, heavy, you know, stoners and all, still using drugs. And sometimes I see people, you know, doing these things as well. And, you know, I mean, I, I just think like, yo, I used to be so addicted. It was my life. My life was getting high. But now that's a thing of the past, man. It's crazy. That's what it is. It's, it's, it's crazy. Um, honestly, I don't know how I did it. All I know is that God was probably carrying me through the whole way. And um, yeah, um, I'm grateful. I really am grateful. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's the story. Um, I have to kind of compact that. Yo, 15 minutes. I know is a long time. But uh, yeah, guys, um, now I am a recovering addict. So I'd, I'm not recovered. 
don't let any person don't let any recovering addict fool you no one recovers from drugs we are all recovering until the day that we die um so yeah yeah um that's that's the story if it is your first time here um you are more than welcome to subscribe to this channel this channel is open and welcome to everyone okay literally anyone can join um yeah i'm not gonna tell you please subscribe to make sure to hit that hit that subscribe button bro i'm not gonna tell you to do that because like it's completely your choice i'm a big believer in the free world you have you can do absolutely whatever you want to do um obviously there are consequences cause and effect is a thing but anyways that's not the point point is subscribe don't subscribe it's up to you but there's always more content coming um i've got so much stuff that i want to do that i want to show you show it to you guys and uh, i hope you'll come along with me on this journey so yeah awesome thank you <laughs> what i meant to say is Thank you.